hope that you're doing well today and that your Lenten journey is continuing to be blessed. Um, we're about a little more than halfway through our Lenten journey. We have about two weeks left until Easter. Um, and um, yeah, just hang in there. I know, I know this, is the, this is the time period even for me where I'm like, oh man, you know, two more weeks, um, you know, uh, giving up uh, our own fleshly desires for the things of the Spirit uh, can be hard and it can be something that can feel burdensome. But uh, I just pray that the Lord would um, shine on you with his mercy today and that you would be filled with his spirit and that his grace would empower you. Uh, today, I wanna to talk to you about repentance. We've all heard the word repent. Many of us have heard uh, a guy on a corner with a bullhorn screaming and shouting, repent, repent, or else you will go to hell. Um, I know the other day I, I worked down at the university here and, and there was a guy down there. He's down there pretty often and he's shouting and yelling into a bullhorn about this, that, and the other thing. And um, one of the things he was saying was to repent um, over and over again. And, and I know that for people who aren't believers, they'll hear that word and that's immediately the image that they come to is this idea of just the kind of turn or burn. Uh, um, and uh, I know that there are certain Christians who believe that. Um, that, that repentance is this um, kind of one-time thing that we do uh, when we give our life to the Lord and we choose to follow him, we repent, and then it's kind of a one-and-done deal. But that's not, really, um, that's not really the picture that is painted for us in the scriptures. And when you do some research and when you really get into the context of some of the things that are said about repentance in the Bible, in the Bible um, repentance is a very beautiful thing. And so... Um, <clears throat> repent basically means to, to stop, to turn towards God, and to move in his direction. That's what repentance means. That sounds actually like something pretty good that I would want to do. And, uh, and so I've tried to incorporate the practice of repentance into my faith walk on almost a weekly, if not daily, um, basis. And I want to encourage you to do the same. And so how that works is basically this, is what we do is we, we in our prayer time, um, on our own, but before God, we, we, we pray and we just ask God. I usually start my prayers with the Jesus prayer. God have mercy on me, a sinner. And then I will say, I repent of the things that I have done that turn away from you, that don't reflect your light, that don't reflect your love, um, the things that don't glorify you. I turn away from the distractions that keep me from soaking in your presence, right? And I pray these prayers. They're very simple prayers, but they're very powerful prayers, especially when you pray them out loud. Um, we pray these prayers and we ask God to, uh, you know, in that process, we're asking God to, to be present. You know, we want, we want to remove these distractions so we can be in God's presence so that he can be present, that we can see him fully and clearly in our midst. Um, and so repentance is a practice. It's something that we do that allows us to move closer to God. Um, and so I wanna encourage you with that today. I know this is a simple talk, but I think it's a really powerful talk because once we get into a discipline of repentance, repentance is actually a really beautiful thing and it helps draw us closer to the heart of God. And ultimately through that, it builds an awareness in us of the things that we do and say and speak and the ways that we can reflect God's light to the world. So be blessed today. Thanks so much.